chef. Yeah. You went to Korean public restaurant before. Uh huh. And I prepared all the menu and recipes, right? Yeah, why? Can you teach me about Korean barbecue? Hmm. What do you want to know? Everything. Everything. Okay. I can teach you one by one. So welcome to Korean barbecue series. Hello everyone! This is Chef Good Choice. Good choice! In last video, I'll talk about dry aging. Dry aging? First, dry aging. Dry aging is the most popular aging technique that everyone talking about. And Korean barbecue. The Korean barbecue. If you haven't watched it, please click here. Also, in last video, I asked a question that is dry aging best for Korean barbecue? Thin slice or marinated meat on hot grill? My answer was nope. nope. If dry aging improves the taste of meat by evaporation, which means if meat dry out, like the name dry aging, it's gonna be the same even after thin slice like this on hot grill. I don't think so. Mm. But let me ask a question. What is good and tasty meat for you? Is it just taste in your mouth, aroma, or texture when you chew it? For me, I consider all of them. The meat, of course, it must be tasty, but also juicy and tender, and of course, fresh, rich aroma. Also, it should be easy to prepare in small kitchen, not just for serving, also preparing. So I decided to use wet aging skill for Korean barbecue. Not anti-aging? Anti-aging. It's my lotion. Sorry. Uh oh. By the way, what is wet aging? So what is wet aging? The wet aging is actually modern technology. Cause there was no vacuum sealing machine and even no plastic. We can't think about this aging technology. How to do wet aging is just vacuum sealing the meat and keep in the fridge. That's all. I know dry aging looks more complicated and cool, but isn't the dry aging just hanging the meat in cool place basically? Both simple, but dry aging need cool space and wet aging need the vacuum sealing machine. But if we think that we need a space to hang the meat and worry about the temperature and hygiene, you know, have to keep checking. And after all those efforts for dry aging, hmm, I don't know. Or if we dry the meat in the fridge, how about the smell and space? You may need to empty the fridge like Google food. Uncle Roger don't know much about this Google guy, but I think he divorced because only divorced man fridge can be as empty as Google fridge. Of course, restaurant and butcher who has a room with the dry aging with special condition and equipment. And actually, I love dry aged steak. The nice texture with nutty aroma. But I'm talking about Korean barbecue. So if you think about wet aging, it's much simpler. Even there are many cheaper vacuum sealing machines. Around $100. Quite cheap, right? I have... Why I still don't have money? If you want to help me do my vacuum sealing machine, please click like and subscribe and share on SNS. Thank you! Thank you! Ah, with vacuum sealing machine, you can do sous vide as well. The best soft meat cooking machine. The best soft meat cooking machine. Even at home. Yeah, actually I won. Kitchenware company, please contact me. I can be your mother. For cheap price. Okay, back to topic. So how is wet aging working? Of course, we put the meat into the plastic bag and vacuum seal it and put in the fridge. About minimum four days to usually between one to two weeks since the meat is butchered. So while the meat stays in the vacuum sealing bag, the enzyme in the meat start to activate it and make the meat tender, but there are more corporal benefit of wet aging techniques. What? What is it? There is no weight loss by dehydration. Yes, usually, if we dry age the meat for 2 weeks, there is 5% of weight loss from original weight. Which means, if we hang 100 kg of meat, we only get 95 kg of meat. And have to train off the moldy outside too? That's quite lots of loss. But with wet aging, in the vacuum sealing bag, the moisture stays for whole aging period. And no trim off, of course. <coughs> and also, if we think about sliced meat, like this, isn't that great for Korean barbecue? Ah, another benefit is marinating. So if we put the meat and sauce into the bag, 
and vacuum seal it. Because there is no air in the bag, it's kind of squeezed inside, which means the meat is covered in the sauce with pressure. Pressure? Under pressure. The sauce can go into the meat much better. Cooking is science. So if you want to know what is really different between dry aging and wet aging, if we cook on Korean barbecue, please stay tuned and see you in next video. Cause the next video will be mukbang of those two different aged meat. Bit expensive mukbang. Uh oh. Aged steak Korean barbecue. So have a nice day and bye bye.